Hi, welcome to Carrots and Daikon. This is David, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you why you should stop using delivery and why you should go to your local takeaway. So, first, I want to talk about the fees that delivery actually charges the food operator. So, they charge 35%. Yeah, 35%. Can you imagine that's the majority of the profit margins that these small operators are tightly on budget to be able to make? So, if you think right in the middle you have delivery cutting that 35 percent i don't see how these smaller operators will be able to continue operating for years to come if they have that massive chunk being cut out unless you're like a massive chain and they were to buy in their stock really cheaply so they could uh, lower their costs but small operators i just can't see them surviving that's why we wouldn't be able to survive on that sort of fees for the future going because already smaller businesses operate on a really tight budget in order to be able to serve the food that they serve offer the customers uh, their service as well so we think having a massive chunk of money being cut away it's just not worth it it's just really not worth it and in particular if you do like your local takeaway and they do offer delivery so just make the effort to go to them because then they can keep that 35 percent and that they can carry on trading for hopefully years to come as well. So the second point is that there could be some hidden gems in your neighborhood as well. So not all smaller operators will be able to afford delivery, delivery fees, particularly like us as well. So people really have to go out their way, try different foods, see if they find something that they like and give them a try because you will be surprised how so many good restaurants are unseen or just not online and that's just out and about because they have that loyal customer base they got that good reviews online as well so really look out reach out to your local takeaways and local food businesses because they need you to be able to buy from them in order for them to succeed and survive and to carry on making the food that they make because i guarantee you you'll be finding food that you would never find on delivery services like those listed so really look out for them and you'll be surprised support your independent shops support your independent retailers support your independent takeaways food restaurants as well because they need you to be able to survive the bulk of that money that you're potentially sending to delivery they need that to pay rent business rates corporation tax paying staff and paying for up and down food costs is that they have no idea that it's so up and down throughout the year so really put that in consideration because not most of these smaller businesses won't be able to survive without your support and sooner or later you'll probably see your high street just full of major chains from America from the UK that it wouldn't be any different from any other street in the UK anymore so really pay attention to these smaller businesses that are doing stuff uh, something new outrageous serving different cuisines different styles and just overall their service is just so much more different than your typical major chain so really go out your way support your independence and just go to these local takeaways because they don't they don't necessarily have to be on those delivery sites to get those customers but they need you to continue supporting them so really pay attention and just go out your way because it makes the, the effort worthwhile for those food operators that they're reaching to more customers and that they can support their staff and their family through the years to come as well. So one of the stories I do want to share is that I've seen a lot of businesses in and out that use delivery service like Deliveroo and Uber Eats that charge these extortionary prices and they're just not able to survive. So particularly the high street as well, you see more and more chains coming in but less independence because it's just so risky and there's just so much money to be put into potentially not being able to continue year after year because at the end of the day these middlemen which is the delivery service they're taking a massive chunk of your profit margins and if the bulk of their customers are coming through them through the app or delivery, delivery online in particular they are not getting those customers through their door and that just makes it extra hard because having an empty shop is not great 
and having all your orders come through the delivery service that is charging 35% is not that great either. So they wouldn't be able to survive. And I've seen so many shops, cafes as well in particular, that they just get blown away because they just can't afford it. So bear that in mind when you're buying from independent that you're really supporting them and uh, hopefully they can be able to be sustainable for the years to come as well. Thanks for watching the video guys, hopefully you found this video useful and give you a sort of idea why we don't use a delivery service at Caps and Dicon in particular and just the crazy fees that they're charging that not all customers will know so I just thought I'd just put it out there in a video because we do get asked a lot over the phone whether we do have a delivery service we do have a delivery service in the evening but just not for lunch but it's just the major part is the fee that they're charging and we just wouldn't be able to afford that and it's just seeing businesses go bust using the service it's just crazy and we don't want to see independents suffer that or have our customers suffer higher prices because we wouldn't be able to offer reasonable food at a good price as well. I've been David, subscribe to the channel and I'll be making a video every week so look forward to that. I'll see you later, bye.